All right, folks, welcome to the Zoom Up. This is a uh, Tuesday. I don't even know what date it is. Doesn't even matter because you're going to probably watch a recording. I got my uh, host, my co host on here, Michael Huggins. What's up, everybody? Out there in uh, Tennessee. I'm in, I'm in Chicago, by the way, yeah. in my big office here. He's out in the middle of nowhere, hanging out in Hang my garage. cabin, cabin hanging in the woods. The and I envy you, man, because, uh, you know, sometimes I want to hang out where nobody can find me either. All right. Choices. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's admitting people as I'm talking. All right, folks, we do this on a daily basis, and pretty soon we're going to cut off Fridays. Yes, Michael? I like Fridays, but we, we can work something out. Well, you can do Fridays, and I'll skip them. How's that sound? Oh, okay. I wanted to like to retire from the Friday thing, but you keep doing them. I'm in. Okay. Fair All enough. right. So what we're doing here in these uh, Zoom ups, uh, I'm in Chicago. I've been doing this now since, uh, wow, 2007 out of this building. Michael, how long have you been working with us? I just had my 10 year anniversary last month. Congratulations. And how old are you? You're pretty young. I just turned 32. So I I'm, found this group when it was 22. I'm, I'm 52. So oh, okay. yeah, I'm attracted to your youth and you're attracted to my wisdom, I suppose. That's right. right. Teamwork, baby. The fun. <laughs> together we're unstoppable (laughs) we're the titans the titans team titan right all right okay so what we're doing in these uh these zoom ups is we're featuring a student that's part of our group um and what they're doing in the real estate this is a real estate investing group i know that i have personally helped uh probably over fifteen thousand people um looking into getting the real estate investing join this group in the last 15 years so it's been pretty good uh, and it's been a lot of fun to watch the growth of folks just like Michael. Michael is actually sitting on 265 acres that he owns in Tennessee at 32 years old. And when I met him, uh, he was uh, a lot weirder and he worked at Jiffy Loop, right? Yeah, two jobs. It's, Jiffy Loop and Two jobs. Tires. And today he's doing great. Uh, my wife and I, we have uh, helped open this building back in 07. We've helped 26 buildings get put up all over the country helping people. We've helped communities grow around the country to do real estate. And one of the people that we have uh, helped out is on the line today. I asked her to come on. Um, I watch her on Facebook do some incredible stuff. Uh, She is a a fix and flip diva. Uh, She is living the life that she wants to live by choice. It's awesome. She's a veteran. So thank you for your service. And uh, I watch this this, uh, young lady come in and do some incredible stuff with our community. And I wanted to feature today. And I want to point out, should we do the disclaimers? Yep. We got to do that. Um, you're going to hear some success in real estate. Doesn't mean that you're going to have success. I've seen plenty of people not have success. And usually that's because of a lack of knowledge and a lack of, a lack of, uh, of proper action with proper people, right? So I'm not saying that you're guaranteed the success that you're about to hear about. Um, and uh, you should definitely make sure that you're doing due diligence on stuff. You should make sure that you're, you know what you're doing before you sign docs, all that stuff. Uh, but today we're going to feature somebody that I appreciate and respect a lot who's done some stuff. Candace Adams out of uh, Hotlanta now. I met her when she was in Indianapolis, but uh, she's in Hotlanta. Give us your story. We want to hear you know, how you started, what you thought about that first meeting, who turned you on, who's helped you the most, what do you love, and then maybe we'll ask them some questions. Candace Adams, everybody. <laughs> Woo, Thank welcome. You. Thank you guys for having me. I definitely appreciate it. Um, gosh, I have a, a quite a bit of a long story. So I came in. Um, well, we've got 10 minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> and so I came in about four and a half years ago um, when after I was coming out of the military from a major injury, um, I was planning to be a 20 year person, then retire from the military. Um, but seven and a half years into my military career, I got hurt. So I needed to find out what it is that people do um, while recovering, you know, what can you do from home and things like that. Um, so I immediately started trying to figure out wholesaling from YouTube. A lot of people go to YouTube because they're broke, right? They are trying to figure out how can I do something without paying a lot of money for it? That was me. I was the YouTube queen and I almost went bankrupt from YouTube because they give you some information that is not so good. Um, and then after doing some searching, um, I went on to um, uh, online and I found um, Renatus through online. Um, I believe it's called Craigslist, right? Craigslist. I was on Craigslist looking for a job with real estate. So um, I got found by Kyle Mole uh, that's out in North Carolina right before I moved to Indiana. And um, he hooked me up 
And I ended up rolling up to Allison Palmgren, who supported me through all the endeavors of me being injured and trying to figure out how I can do wholesaling or how I can do real estate and learn real estate and be broke at the same time. So um, coming out of the military, you, you would think they would support you with everything, um, you know, give you a bunch of money. That's not what happens. <laughs> they did not. But um, I got a whole lot of support with Renatus um, being an injured veteran and trying to figure out everything. So of course I started um, immediately marketing Renatus. The Earn While You Learn program is by far my savior because I was able to bring people on as I was learning real estate in the very beginning for the first two years of Renatus. Um, that's all I did was marketed, uh, passed out roadside signs and drop cards like crazy. And um, I brought people in from there and then I, I started to implement wholesaling from there. I realized that wholesaling is great, but what caught me was when I, I um, sent a deal to a person and I got $5,000 from it. And then 30 days afterwards, they flipped that property and they got $50,000 from it. And I was like, holy crap, what am I doing? I need to be a fix and flipper. So of course, what did I do? Like everybody else, you start watching HGTV. And I'm like, I can be like these guys on HGTV, right? So, um, so but I, I was blessed to be a part of this community because I learned that what the things that's on HGTV don't do is show you all the ups and downs and ins and outs. Um, my very first deal, which was two and a half years ago um, for a fix and flip was a flop. It, I still own it to this day because it never sold. It was in a horrible area. It was a good deal in a bad area. And I learned um, from our community how to better analyze these deals. Now, now I'm really good at it. So uh, fast forward now to date, I'm doing about one to two wholesales uh, a month. And um, I have done over 14 transactions when it comes to fix and flips. And now I'm building my portfolio for uh, rentals. I have seven right now. Uh, that's all over the place. And I plan to get to a lot more with the help of all of our community members. So it's been, it's been some ups and downs, but I absolutely enjoy it. I did not realize I would enjoy real estate. I had no background in sales at all. I knew nothing about real estate at all when I was coming into it. But the great thing is, is that when you come into this community, you have the support that uh, will drive you. You know, there's individuals that will make sure that when you are struggling or you have questions, they're there to pick you up and they're there to answer everything um, that you may have questions for. So um, that's where I am. So you, uh, I want to talk. I, I, I don't. Um, how old were you when you when you started with the group? I want I want everybody to realize um, that you're pretty young. I, I was 32 when I started with the group. Yeah, uh, I had just turned 32 when I started mm. with the group. Yeah, and and your first deals, no money, no credit, right? The whole no money, there. no credit. Um, with every deal that I've ever done, and like I said, I've done over 14 uh, real estate transactions for uh, fix and flips. I've never used any of my own money. I've never used any of my own credit whatsoever. The house that I live in right now, we just moved in two months ago, was 100% owner financed. Um, it was a creative acquisition. The house is turnkey. It's um, 4,500 square foot property. Never knew that I can buy a house that's a uh, whole, you know, it, it, everyone, someone else is paying for it. So I didn't have to get my own mortgage. I didn't have to contact some bank and go through all the steps and everything like that. The education did that. Using the acquisitions and negotiations works. And honestly, when I negotiated this house that I live in right now, and it was like, okay, yeah, well, let's do that. Let's sign the papers. I was kind of like, holy crap, what did I just, <laughs> what did I just do, right? But um, it, now, I'm, it I'm okay. So when you say that, are you is it is it a what I just do like a problem like it's oh my gosh I can't believe I just did this or you're excited about what you just excited. did? Excited, I was excited. Right. Yes, okay. because the home that I live in right now is is my dream home. Um, and, and you use no money or credit to live in the house you're in. None of my own. You did money. not walk into a bank. You didn't sign. You didn't say, "Hey, I need a loan." Yes, you didn't that's do that. Right. None yeah. of that. That's awesome. Yes. 
So that's an advantage. You know, I talk about that a lot, Michael and Candace. I say, you know, I think that humans in the, on the planet, every human on the planet should work with us because we can help them, A, with their own taxes, their own retirement plans, everything, and then even help them buy their own house. Even if they don't want to be transactional, they don't want to make a career out of it like Candace has transactional career, they can literally get into their own houses without using money or credit, right? We don't know how to, we don't learn that stuff in high school, right? We should. And if we didn't learn it in high school, we should learn it now as humans. Right. Right. We got to, we got to share the love here. So Candace, I got a question. What was it like taking the courses? I mean, you, were you up late at night? Were you getting up early in the morning? How are you doing it? So the great thing about the courses is it's earned while, I mean, I'm sorry, you, you learn on your own at your own pace. I was injured. Um, my injuries were severe because I fell out of a helicopter in wow. the military, and um, I broke. You fell out of a helicopter. Fell out of a helicopter. We were hovering. It wasn't like super high. You know, it was about thirty feet from the helicopter onto the ground. Wow. Isn't right. like a doesn't OSHA say that a death fall is like twenty four feet? That usually, yeah. Um, oh, but yeah. what? And it's not funny to say, but it is kind of funny now. But. Um, I fell on top of someone, so they broke my fall, but I broke more of their bones than my own. Oh, so uh, it sucks, but several of us got injured and um, I survived. But even still with that survival, I, I was going into real estate not knowing anything and being super broken, literally super broken um, and broke. Like I didn't have any money. I didn't know tax strategies. I didn't know how to negotiate deals or sales or anything like that. So a lot of people, they say, oh, I want to get into real estate, but I don't have any of my own money. You don't really need it. You just need the education and the support system. Oh, I don't have good credit. You don't really need it. All you need is the support system and the right education. And it's funny yeah. that you say that because we all say that. We're like, come on. You know, everybody's like, come on, dude. Right. Yeah. And then, then you learn how to execute it. And then you, when you do execute it, you become an instant believer in all, that, all those unicorn ideas, those fantasies. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, what's the project you're working on now? Um, so right now I am finishing um, a real estate fix and flip deal that's out in Indianapolis. Um, unfortunately, with COVID, it has taken a lot longer to finish than anticipated. So um, I'm finishing that, but I also am doing wholesale deals um, like two, two a month or so. And I just got another project under contract that is a 41 unit uh, apartment building. Nice. And um, I, it's right now it's 75% occupied. So the 25% that's not occupied, I'm working on getting a team out there and fixing it up so that of course I can make more money off of, off of that. So where are you, where's, the, where's the 41 units at? Is it in Atlanta or is it in? It in, is in Atlanta. Okay, yes, great. it is okay. in Atlanta. So. And are you from Atlanta? Um, I am not. I'm actually from Indiana. Um, okay. I mostly grew up in Chicago, though. Most of my family is in Chicago. <laughs> so on weekends, outside of going to school, we were always in Chicago. So I know Chicago more than Indiana. Interesting enough. We lost you, huh? You went to Atlanta. Yeah. Better, better weather. <laughs> it is better weather. Yes. I heard you guys getting snow right now. That's not bad. It's a little rain. <laughs> So what's your favorite class? What's your favorite? I mean, are you using the, the velocity banking? Are you doing the, the tax deductions? Are you doing like, what, what's your favorite class? Awesome. So I would say that the velocity banking is by far my favorite class so far. Um, the velocity banking helped me help my sister pay down her mortgage in only seven years. Wow. So, so she paid off a 30 year mortgage in seven years with your help year through the class. Yes. And she works for insurance. She did not get any extra uh, loans. She did not use anything extra at all. She had a line of credit from her bank. She, she has a credit union. She got a line of credit from her credit union and she used her credit cards and the methods of velocity banking. So I helped her. She's not in real estate. Uh, people think you have to be in real estate to do these techniques, but it's just about knowledge. I have the knowledge. I helped her she was able to pay off her mortgage. So now she's living uh, debt-free because of Velocity Banking. You know, the next thing you guys should do? What? You should, you should actually walk back into the bank and get as much of a line of credit on that house as you can and go into business together while you find the properties and she uses she hears a line of credit. You guys could partner up and flip houses and treat her, her property as an asset now. Wow. 
that's a good idea. It is, right? Yeah. Scooby's like got good ideas. <laughs> At least one a day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That one. And then, of course, fix and flip. I love flipping. Um, the, the fix and flip that I'm working on right now is by far the hardest deal that I've done in my real estate career. Um, and I blame COVID because there's a lot of hiccups that's going on with what's going on out here. Um, but it was easy to find. Um, I, it was a for sale by owner. So those signs out there for sale, you know, you, you go and you knock on the door. I actually knocked on the door of the individuals and say, Hey, you guys are still selling this property. Let's talk. And they were eager to move back to Florida. They're from Florida. And um, then I talked to the real estate community here with Renatas to get it funded. I did not put a dime of my own money into it. Um, I didn't use my own credit. I just had to show, you know, I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm associated with this great community here. And um, then we got it under contract. So, and sold it with, or I'm sorry, we bought it within uh, 14 days. Nice. And you're a single mom, right? I am a single mom. I have an eight-year-old daughter She's downstairs right now being patient. There you go. I see her actually on Facebook. She's actually helping you out painting and, and yes. sanding and stuff. It's great. And, you know, I think that's important because there's a lot of women out there that are single moms are like, well, I don't have the time to handle that. But uh, the nice thing about the education was it work, fits around your schedule. Uh, like you said, you can actually start making money with us right away. Right. That saved my life. Actually, uh, I had no job when I came in. And the earning while I was learning really helped me out uh, with this program. I wouldn't be able to do it without it. Right. Same here. Same here. I got one last question. Yes. Um, you, I know that you, when you saw this, where, where were you living when you saw this? In Indiana? I was actually in North Carolina. I had just gotten injured. I was in the hospital bed. Um, there's, some, there's some pictures of me on Facebook where I was laying in the hospital bed with a computer in front of me and I was learning the That's education great. at that time That's from great. the hospital bed, um, all about this. So, okay, so, so I want to hit a couple marks. I love this because yeah. if anybody's watching this recording um, after this, you know, you're a single mom, you were taking classes as a single mom, you were actually doing stuff with a single mom, you were disabled. So you actually, hey, I'm disabled. I'm in a hospital bed, but I'm using my time to become something after the hospital bed. Right. Yeah. So if there's anybody that's watching this, that's disabled, you may want to you know, take note. Right. Uh, if you're a single mom, take note. Right. Um, if you're a veteran and you like you come back from an organized, systematic world and you're now you're a civilian trying to figure stuff up, take note. Right. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of takeaways from uh, this. So you saw this on a webinar. You didn't you saw you got exposed to this community on a webinar. Right. Yes. Did you participate in any study groups on webinars? Did you do any of that kind of stuff? Um, after I joined, yes. Okay. So, so I, we talk about this a lot. There's a lot of community that works around the, and you might think to yourself, if you're watching this recording, I don't have anybody in my area. Don't need it. The two Titans on the line between the Huggins and the Rowans uh, have figured out how to help people all over the country on a weekly basis to make sure that they're plugged in and they feel like they're as part of what's going on, even if they're not next to us. Does that make sense? Right. So. That's right, baby. Coast to coast. Coast to coast, baby. Cool. Well, man, what an amazing story. I had no idea about that, Candice. Um, so thank you for, for opening up and sharing because I know a lot of people are sitting there. Are, uh, I think the word is making excuses, yeah. right? They're stopping themselves. There's this amazing potential in front of them and they're stopping themselves, but you didn't do that. You're a superhero. You're, you're the excuse killer superhero. That's right. <laughs> thank you. Love it. Thank you. And I'm constantly learning. Like right now, um, I got my daughter on payroll um you know she started on payroll last year actually and so she is my executive paper shredder and uh it's, you know it's tax deductions here and there you know i got my llc and my incorporation going so she is getting paid from my company and then we just started her own company as well she's only eight you know eight years so old I if, learned all this if your kids ain't running companies at eight years old <laughs> it's time to hang out with different people yeah <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Wow. What a great example. I'm excited to see what you create over the next couple of years and how many people you get to help along the way. Because yeah. that's what we do as a community. You're not just out there succeeding on your own in an island. You're bringing people along with you, sharing the, 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 sex, the successes, the challenges, the support. And um, man, what a great contribution to our community. 
Yeah. Thank you. You want to you you take us out of this, Michael, and tell them what they should be doing next? All right, folks. So you heard it here. Um, you got to keep checking this stuff out. There's more house tours. We're actually having one tonight and tomorrow if you're interested, as well as we do stuff on Saturdays. There's a lot of recordings for you to check out, as well as our live uh, workshops that we do on a weekly and monthly basis. These workshops are by invitation only. Okay, so you do need to be registered. Get back with the person that invited you here. They got the next link for you so that you can continue your story, your development, your transformation. You do need to get more information from us. See the behind the scenes work, see our community work, see how our program works because it flat out could change your life drastically. So, um, and go and check some of these old episodes out too. We've, we've done, I think this is our 35th episode now and we're just keeping them rolling. So uh, with that being said, everyone, get back with the person who invited you here. Ask some questions, get connected. There's more for you uh, to explore these possibilities with us. So with that, uh, we're out of time. How do we oh. see you? See you. See you. What's up? Oh. What? Earl? Where, Earl where, to go to see, where do we have to go to see the recordings? How do we get yeah. them? Go to oh, Renatus. So the recordings are, on, if you go to YouTube, type in Elevate Renatus. Go to our channel. You'll see the playlist right there. And, and, and search out Zoom Up. Yep. Uh, Zoom Up. It's our meetups on Zoom. And the link is in the chat. I'll give you just a second to grab it from the chat for those of you who are here live. And uh, for everyone else catching the recording, just request those. We're here to support you. We're an open book. We'll answer any questions. We're here to support. So again, thank you, Candice. Congratulations. And uh, we'll see you guys on our next episode. Have a thank great day, Bamboo. everybody. Thank you, Bamboo Rancher. You're awesome. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Bye.